So often people talk about how the filter defines a synthesizer's sound. Now this is certainly true in certain synthesizers. A lot of synthesizers just have a low-pass filter or a resonant low-pass filter, and it sounds like they do. It's when your filter is a little bit unique and a little bit interesting that your filter really defines your sound. Now let's be clear about the MS-20, the original and this, the, uh, the new version. Well, it's not a new version, it's the reproduction. It has two filters. So many, uh, you look at even the ARB 2600 only has one filter. And uh, Korg in the MS-20 put two filters. And they didn't just put two filters. They put a resonant, self-oscillating high-pass filter along with a resonant, self-oscillating low-pass filter at 12 decibels per octave. That is a really uncommon filter combination. And because it's so uncommon... The sound of this synthesizer is very uncommon. Okay, let's uh, set something reasonable here. Okay, that's just your traditional saw sound, and it sounds really good. It doesn't, it so doesn't sound like necessarily a modern saw. It sounds as much like a vintage saw as a lot of synths that are vintage. Okay, I'll stop talking about the oscillator now. Uh, let's take a look at this filter. That is the low pass. It's without resonance, so that's just what the, the 12 decibel per octave low pass sounds like. And of course the high pass. You can hear the low frequencies carved out of it. It becomes very thin. So much of, you know, the original, you know, 70s era synthesizers were desperately attempting to have a Moog sound. And this sound, so things like uh, 12 decibel per octave filters, although they were somewhat common, and then like the capability that this synthesizer has less common because most of them just had low pass filters but you're capable of a band pass filter when you have a low pass filter and a high pass filter the low pass can take off the high end the high pass can take off the low end and you're left with the frequencies in the middle like this Now, what makes this sound really great is when we start introducing resonance, or as it's called in the traditional Korg lexicon, peak. Let's hear a little bit of peak with um, the low pass filter. Now, I don't have an MS-20, an original MS-20 sitting here next to this, but I'm just gonna say right out, this is a nice sounding low pass filter. And it goes into self oscillation. Let's do the same with the high pass. And 
it is also resonant. And right there is where we start going, oh yes. Okay, what we have here is a Korg MS-20. And this is a cincher. I mean, that is a very, very distinctive sound. That's the definitive sound of the Korg MS-20. That squealing, resonant high-pass filter. And uh, yeah, so when you hear that, oh, the first time I heard that playing this, the Mini, I was like, this is an MS-20. <laughs> And of course, you know, you jack up the peak, which is resonance, and you can get that amplification in the low end. It's a very sort of musical sound. Then we take that and mix it with the low pass filter in resonance. This is an MS-20. If that doesn't sound like an MS-20 to you, then, well, I don't know what. But to me, that is an MS-20. And that right there justifies everything. I mean, granted, everything else sounds great. and But this is the focal point of this synthesizer because of that unique, cool, raucous sound. And it has it. Here is a Korg MS-20. And... It's 2013, and it's very affordable. So, <laughs> what else is there to say? 